Oh yeah. Here we have Ringer Bells. She's a 45 foot boat. And she was built in uh, the year 2000. She's a uh, Kingfisher Marine fit out. And she's just had a black in, a top side repaint, and uh, a recent hull survey, uh, which was all good. She's got a fully collapsible rear canopy and she's got a, um, a cratch cover as well. Cratch with a, with the, that's collapsible as well. Got three windows in it as well, including the front. So she's got a beat marine engine. Uh, and that's about it for the top sides really. Yeah, it's a lovely little boat. So we'll go in and have a look, eh? So you've got a shoreline hook up there and the engine panel and we'll turn that headlight off, bilge pump, etc. Horn. Yeah, nice little space this for in winter or stashing stuff. So you've got a beat marine engine. Yep. There you go, you can't go wrong with a beat marine, so don't really need to say much about that. You've got four batteries there. One's hiding in the dark, but you've got three leisures, one starter. It's just had new engine mounts on it. Uh, we just checked it all over and that's all it needed. So that's fine. I've taken this boat out for about a week with the wife and kids. We had a lovely time on it. So you've got a metal front door there. You've got a bulkhead light on the outside. You've got a metal front door, a metal sliding hatch. And as we go in, we've got the, the builder's plate there, ventilation for the inverter, etc. We've got a double bed here, storage over there, overhead, and storage overhead there, a little shelf. You've got a sterling inverter in there, and your little consumer unit, and your fuses, and your water pump switch, etc inverter switch uh, you've got lots of storage underneath the bed as well you've got two big drawers there and two big drawers there which is really good you've got some shelving unit right next to there for your cup of tea and the storage underneath these steps as well yeah so you've got a fair bit in there for this little boat uh, it's got a new boat safety certificate on it, I believe, or quite a one that's got quite a long, a long time left on it. So we walk down this little all alleyway, and we've got a Thetford cassette. It's the one that you pull out from the back, so it's got a, it's got a proper flush on it, and uh, we've got a sink unit there, the window, a little shelf, and a shower unit in there. Everything works. Like I say, I've been out on it for a week with the wife and kids. We had a lovely time. So we know everything works on it. Close that. Um, surprisingly for this sort of size boat, we've got a really big cupboard here. It's really dark. You can't see it, but it's like a full height cupboard, which goes right back to there. So you've got quite a lot of hangers on it as well. And then a lot of space under there. So. That's really handy in this size boat, I think. So we walk in from the bedroom, past the bathroom and into the kitchen. So you've got a nice big open plan living room here. So you could put a sofa bed in there. You could put a couple of chairs. You could do whatever you want, really. You know, you've got a lot of room for a nice, for a 45 foot boat. Got a nice stove in there. Steps, storage underneath there as well. Got a nice little corner cupboard and uh, some shelves up here. And like I said before, there's a nice little cratch area here. It's on uh, an aluminium frame. So you've got one, but I like this big window the best because a nice breeze comes through there. Um, but you can close that and these two fold up as well. A nice colored glass in the, uh, in the front doors. Yeah, wooden, hardwood front doors. Stainless steel water tank, you've got storage in there, in the gas in the, in the lockers at the front. The gas lockers there. You can fit two 13 kg gas bottles. 
So we'll come back through and you've got uh, you've got a nice little kitchen. Like I said, I've used it. There's four of us using it for a week and we didn't really need for anything. You've got a cooker, you've got a four hob, you've got a 12 volt fridge, which is really good. You've got a little bit of storage, uh, storage space there under the sink and under the cooker as well. Uh, just one little round sink and uh, some storage over the top there. Yeah. So, you know, it's a nice boat, I think it is anyway. Is quite reasonably priced as well at 45k so uh like i say she's got a full hull survey she's got a very recent hull survey and she's got a boat safety certificate top sides are good bottom sides are good year 2000 you know and these canopies front and back you know you're looking at two over two thousand pounds worth of canopies on this boat as opposed to other boats at least two thousand pounds worth maybe even £3,000 in today's prices. So I'll have a little walk down anyway, because we can only get a full picture from the back. But you can see she's got a nice rattle red roof. It's nice contemporary gray and black sides. It always looks nice. I think it's a nice neutral color, quite in vogue today. And then you've got the front there your gas locker, your fender, and that's that's what the front cratch looks like. You know, usable, very usable areas. So yeah, anyway, get in touch if you like her, if you want to, if you want to make a viewing, and uh, thanks for watching.